let's get started. The floor is yours. Thank you and enjoy the webinar. Okay, thank you, Admin. Okay, so let's get back to the topic. So today's topic is about the building API with uh, a PHP. Uh, we are not talking about the advanced API, which requires lots of mechanism. So, but at least you have an idea about how API looks like, okay? And at least, uh, yeah, we'll be talking about the prerequisite later, but at least uh, now uh, you must have, uh, at least you have, you have a, uh, you must have a, what is it? Um, uh, <laughs> how can I say? Uh, uh, some background uh, knowledge about the, uh, the web programming, at least you should be able to uh, create a, a, a web form uh, that contains several fields and then the fields will be sent through, uh, um, what is it, the uh, API, uh, through the, uh, to the processing uh, uh, form. And then uh, uh, after you're receiving the information from your browser and then uh, uh, there will be an action that, uh, uh, I mean, it's up to you. For example, uh, you want to save those information into the database, okay? So uh, about the webinar, so this is our agenda, uh, review, prerequisite knowledge, uh, then the web, we'll be talking about dynamic web, okay? And then machine to machine communication, and then the API. Uh, so, uh, if you are, so if you are already, um, uh, already create a web, <laughs> web application, uh, with Ajax, I mean, the Ajax is created by yourself. Okay. <laughs> it's not the uh, Ajax that is, uh, you just copy and paste. No, it's not. Uh, yeah, with that, uh, it's one of the prerequisites of uh, how to build an API here. Okay, so these are the agenda. And then, okay, uh, for those who are new, we are GLC Networks, we are based in Bandung, and uh, we, we are doing uh, training in IT consulting. We also develop, uh, uh, develop software, uh, web-based software, and then uh, we are uh, teaching microtech uh, networking, uh, basically networking like uh, Cisco, Ubiquiti, and microtech and Cisco. Uh, we also do system administration, uh, Linux based. Uh, actually, it's not only Linux, but uh, yeah, Unix like <coughs> that includes the FreeBSD and then uh, other stuff like that. Uh, what else? Um, yeah, uh, also the programming, yeah, um, like Python, uh, PHP, uh, database, uh, HTML, CSS, okay. So those are basic things if you want to be a, a database, oh, sorry, um, a web developer. Okay, about myself, my name is Ahmad, I'm based in Bandung, I'm teaching uh, those things. I also have a LinkedIn account. So if you have the uh, same, uh, uh, have account on the same platform as well, and we can connect. About past experience, mostly we are doing networking and then system integration. So we also develop custom software, uh, usually web-based, uh, together bundled with the internet, and then uh, we deploy it in our customer. About the webinar itself started in 2010 with various topics and uh, currently uh, we are already more than half year now <laughs> since the, I think in the beginning of pandemic, uh, we do webinar every week. Okay, and then and some of the weeks uh, we have uh, external uh, participants, which is uh, which can share their uh, uh, experience uh, during the uh, a webinar. Okay. Uh, about yourself, I think, uh, thank you very much for your introduction. I can see here, 
uh, some of you are are indonesian some of you are not okay probably are from philippines or from uh, africa okay that was very good and then prerequisite <laughs> sorry <laughs> prerequisite for the <laughs> Uh, the webinar here is uh, first uh, you need to understand web programming uh, to be honest this is not for beginner okay i'm sorry for that uh, so at least in order to understand the api how api works uh, at least you know how web programming works okay uh, the static ones you know uh, when doing web programming you have two types right the static website where you need to modify the code okay and then we have a dynamic uh, website, okay, uh, which is uh, a generated code by the language on the server side, for example, PHP, uh, GSP, or ASP, and uh, other stuff like uh, Python, yeah, other stuff like that. So uh, you need to know about those things, okay? So because we are talking about PHP, uh, so at least you need to have a PHP uh, background here. Uh, at least uh, how to handle the form, okay? All right, so. Okay, so let's review. So this is how uh, the application looks like, okay? So you have a, uh, you have a web a client, okay? Uh, in this case is browser, so browser can be place can be installed on your computer or on your um, on your mobile phone okay so uh, here even though you can see oh okay it's on the uh, laptop but it's not now uh, browser is everywhere uh, including your uh, mobile phone okay so this is your browser you, you type the URL and then what you make is you make a HTTP request to the web server and then the web server will send a request for you. Okay, and then you are happy uh, when the uh, results come. Okay, so as simple as that. Uh, if we are, remember the seven OC layer. Okay, so uh, uh, when we talk about web communications, uh, the layers are here, the HTTP, and also we have a DNS here because it's very related with the DNS, okay? because uh, everything we are accessing is based on the DNS, right? Like blah, 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 it's not the IP address that we are accessing. On transport, we are using TCP, but nowadays uh, Google is using a quick protocol, uh, which are based on UDP. Uh, on the network, we are based on IP, uh, either IPv4 or IPv6, but mostly IPv4, okay? Many traffic are IPv4. And then on layer two here, uh, it depends on the uh, technology we are using. Sometimes we are using ethernet, sometimes we use Wi-Fi, right? No problem. So these are the uh, uh, protocols we are using during the uh, web uh, communication. About the protocol itself. So previously we know that there is a HTTP protocol here. So HTTP stands for Hypertext uh, Transfer Protocol. So it's a, it's a protocol uh, that, that is based on the language. Uh, it's a protocol for data transfer, okay. Uh, HTTP includes HTML, it's the language, okay. HTML, HTML is the language. HTTP is the protocol, it's a P and L here. Okay, so with uh, uh, HTML, uh, you you have a tag where uh, it where every tag has a meaning. For example, you want to put a tag with uh, H1, so it means that uh, you want to give a meaning on a certain element on your HTML page. For example, you want to make it bold. You want to make it uh, yellow. Okay, so it can be. <clears throat> either formatting or uh, you want to make a, a, a target as a, as a component. So this is how, how web server, how the web communication works. So you have a client and then you have a browser. And then when we go uh, deeper into the message, uh, 
this is how it looks like, okay? So uh, this is the HTTP, and then on top of that is the language, is the component. So first is the HTML, and then CSS, okay? And then the JavaScript. So these three things is three components if you want to be a web developer, okay? So, I mean, you're just bullshit if you don't know any of them, okay? So if you want to be a, 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 a web developer, you need to know uh, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So those are those are the three components that makes uh, a, a web page, okay? So uh, yeah, all of them with the base foundation of HTTP, okay? So on top, here is the web API. So a web API is used to connect to uh, a different server or server to server, okay? Okay, so yeah, this is how, how it looks like, okay? So <clears throat> from the bottom, we have IP, and then we use uh, a UDP or TCP, okay? And then if you use HTTPS, right? HTTPS, uh, that is the secure way for accessing web server. That one we use TLS here, transport layer security. And then on top of that, so uh, IP is layer three, TCP UDP layer four. Uh, um, the, after that is the application layer, which consists of the session layer, presentation layer, and application layer. <coughs> so, Yes, here's the TLS uh, as the as the component to make uh, to encrypt the uh, communications, and then the DNS is for uh, uh, DNS uh, for for naming, okay, uh, for like addressing, okay. So otherwise, if you don't use DNS, and then everything that we access is based on the IP address, which is typical for us as a human. Uh, by accessing what I want to uh, get the I want to go to uh, google.com yes yeah, so you have you have to type 11.43.26.48 no it's, it's it's very difficult for us <laughs> all right so uh, here's the flow okay so I, I keep repeating this uh, over and over again you can get it from here so again uh, you type something on your browser uh, check the DNS okay I want to go to example.com and then from this DNS, I will need to translate into the IP address, okay? So it's checking the cache on your browser if there is no cache. And then uh, we need to do a DNS lookup here. Is the This is the DNS lookup. And then after I know the IP address, and then uh, I will do the uh, initiate the TCP connection. So this is the three-way handshake. After three-way handshake is done, and then we do the HTTP request through the internet. And then uh, inside the HTTP request, this is how the, your request looks like. You are using method get, okay? And uh, after that is the URL, and then here's the version, so HTTP 1.1. So the server receive and then response, and then here's the uh, response of from the uh, server, okay? And then those codes will be uh, uh, downloaded into your browser, and then your browser execute the code, and then uh, doing parsing, okay? Here's the uh, method, uh, here's the sequence, and then here's the uh, engine uh, on your browser that <clears throat> that interpret those codes, okay? So actually, when you accessing a website, uh, uh, you can see, oh, it's blue, it's red, it's uh, something. Actually, those things are just code, okay? <laughs> so sorry for that, okay? So those codes, okay? So, uh, <laughs> so it's not like an art, okay? Uh, it's like a painting, no, it's not, okay? So those are codes. And then those codes will be interpreted and then you will see your favorite website here. So as simple as that. Now, uh, when you open a website, the content we call it elements, okay? So we have a document and then inside the documents we have an element, element, element. 
Okay. So, uh, and then those elements, okay, are coming from different sources, okay, from different server here. Okay. So it's very common now. So uh, this is you, okay. So you open a website and then when the apps, uh, website uh, arrive, and then the website contains, oh, okay, so you have to get this element from here. You need to get this element from here, get, get, get. So <laughs> actually inside one, one, uh, uh, one HTML document. Uh, there will be many components that coming, not only from that website, okay? Uh, especially for ads, right? For uh, advertisement, okay? Uh, there will be a, a specific website that is providing the ad server. Okay. So previously I was talking about the uh, method here. As you can see, this is the method and then here's the response, okay? So when we talk about the uh, request, so this is how it looks like, okay? So uh, this is the method, okay? Here's the path, okay? For example, slash blah, blah, slash blah, 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 blah. So those are the path, we call it path and then here's the, version of the protocol and then here's the header. So this is, we call it request. After the server uh, reply, and then it looks like this. So the response here will be like this. So it will show you, okay, here's the response for HTTP 1.1, here's the version of the protocol. Here's, this is the important thing, okay? Here's the uh, status of the code, okay? And then here's the status message, okay? Is it okay or not? And then you can see them here. Uh, when you send, uh, uh, you you have option to, to send with several methods. Uh, the com most common one is get, okay? Uh, that one is to receive uh, information, okay? So get is done using URL. Okay, so if you are typing something in the URL, and then uh, it's, it's called get. Uh, next is post here uh, for posting a, a, a data. So these two, three, these two things, get and post, is very, very common when you are developing a, uh, a, a website, okay? So, so perhaps I can share a bit here. So better if I do a live live checking, right? Uh, um, okay, let me check a website. Uh, just want to check if they have. Ah, okay. So as you can see, okay, let me share a. Um, let me share my whole screen here so that you can see, okay. So um, here I'm opening a GLC Networks website. Well, it looks slow. Hmm. Test.glcnetworks.com. Yeah, okay. So this is a test web page from GLC Networks. Okay. You can try it. So this is, uh, I'm doing get, okay? And then this is what I get. Okay, so get is just simple as that. So is it possible to send a variables? Yes. So by typing a, um, uh, uh, I mean, what was the name of this? <laughs> I forget. <laughs> uh, a question mark, yes. ID equals to, for example, 23. Okay, so actually, I mean, guys, look. You, you can see my screen, right? Can you see my screen? Hello. 
So can you see my screen? Yes, yes. I can see. Yes, I can oh, see. yeah, sure, sure. Thank you. Yeah. So uh, in this perspective, actually, um, the website here is already acting as an API. Okay. Yeah. So by checking the ID 23, okay, uh, with the GLC networks, networks. Yeah, this one is a little bit slow. Oh, okay, here. Yeah. Right, okay, so as you can see, uh, so this is the website, okay? It's the website. So this is the URL, this is the, the main URL, okay? So this is the main URL, and then this is the data that you are sending to the server. So you have, we have a server here, SRV, and then this is the client, okay? Client is sending something, and then they are using get method, okay? So uh, get is the method. And then through this get, okay, you are sending variables like ID, okay? Like uh, or whatever, uh, a name. Okay, so along with the get here, you're sending a request to the server and then hoping that server will reply you back, okay? So in this case, this is how API works, okay? So who defines IP, name, and whatever? It's on the server. So the server defines, oh, okay, you can send a request, but the request has to be sent in this format, okay? So this is the one that provides a API. To, to, that, to that perspective, I can say this is an API. Okay, so you're sending something and then you'll, you'll get something as yeah, simple as that. Okay, so in in this web page, okay. Okay, I, I try something here, uh, press enter and then I, I send uh, a variables ID and then here's the value. 23. Uh, what if I want to send another uh, variable, for example, name, okay? And then we can do like um, um, Ahmad, yeah. So we can use uh, ampersand here. Okay, so I will sending <coughs> two parameters, okay, ID and name, okay? But why, why the, <coughs> sorry, <laughs> I, I got uh, I got uh, a problem with my uh, throat here. Yes, it, it seems like it's not that well. <laughs> Sorry for that. Uh, okay, so so I'm sending two variables. Okay, ID and name. But uh, why the page is just like this? It did not change. Okay. Well, because uh, I'm not designed test.glcnetworks.com to receive those information. Okay, so glcnotworks.com, yes, it received these two requests, uh, these two parameters, yes, it received, but uh, they don't know how to deal with this information. Okay, so here uh, it's also same. So we change it. Instead of clearly saying this, uh, we are sending this. Okay, so yeah, so this is, this is how it looks like. So we change the parameters, okay, from the uh, ID and the variables and then the numbers, and then you can you can see it like this, okay. So after you change, okay. So if you just if you change the URL, and then uh, you get nothing, okay. Yes, networks, okay, and then events. If you click here. So this one is much more smarter, okay. Yeah, it's smarter because it has a processing when, when I send something, okay. So this is my get request, okay. So here we have a get request. Okay, so similar to this. So those are, those are same, okay. So to some extent it's already, it's already API, okay? You're sending something with the format that uh, is 
uh, agreed by both sides. Uh, another example is uh, Chitra Web here. Uh, actually, I was looking for a page like this. Okay, so this is their uh, uh, website. Okay, and then as you can see, this is a, a this is a files where you can send something. So you, uh, either you can change to uh, okay, this is eight uh, three two, and then the, this is how it looks like. Perhaps you can change eight hundred. Okay, and then the content will be changed, right? Uh, you change something to, uh, for example, 700 or 751. And then let's see how it looks like. Yeah, so as you can see, when you change something, when you change something here, the content will be changed. The whole content here will be changed. Okay, so those, those is, uh, is 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 done automatically so this is this is the, the what what we say an example of uh, dynamic page dynamic uh, websites okay yeah so uh yeah so we we can uh, change the content uh the content of a website the content of element by online uh, by automatically yeah uh, usually we use a database so it's not hard code. So we just put the whole HTML, CSS, whatever. No, it's not. Uh, yeah, but it's generated on the fly. All right. So hopefully you can get the idea, okay, about the HTTP method that is used on API requests. So, so I'm here actually. I'm to some extent okay. I'm already doing the API. Oh. Maybe uh, we can try another one using a, um, a postman. Okay. Okay. Let me start my postman here. Uh, it's a it's a software uh, where you can. Uh, Uh, you can use it for testing your API. Okay, so let's try another one. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, so it's TTPS. Okay, we can put the a URL here. It's a new request. So we put the request here. Okay. So this is the, the the base URL. And then we can see, as you can see, we can we can we can we can uh, we are able to check see uh, which method uh, we are using. Okay. So you can see we can use a get, post, put, batch, uh, whatever whatever you name it. <laughs> Okay, so uh, we are using get. Okay, so if we just get and then we can uh, save it and then send the request directly from the postman here. So after sending, it will reply with the uh, with the HTML code. So this is how HTML code looks like. Okay, so this is the row. Okay, view and then. Uh, here's you are seeing. So if those codes are interpret, and then it will be look like this, the preview. Visualizing WordPress. Uh, oh, where is it? Where's the postman? Oh, okay, here it is. Yeah, so this is how it looks like. Okay, so here's the preview, okay. So actually, these are the code you are getting from there. So as I say in the slide here, so when you when you send something, I want to please, I want to get the content of example.com, and then you can see colors here, you can see pictures and whatever. Actually, those are codes. So code like this, okay? <laughs> see, so those are just code, okay? Code from the web server. And uh, when you interpret those codes, this code here, okay, 
and then you will see something like this. Okay. So uh, as you can see, if you don't put anything, uh, this is how it looks like. Okay. So uh, we put the request here, just product. Okay. So I like to use this as example because I can see, I can show it clearly. Uh, yeah, see, uh, no, no stuff exists. Okay, so no items. So, so as a similar to what we have here, see, uh, there is no an item is not available. Oh, sorry, guys, for those who are not Indonesian, uh, at least you, you, you get the idea, okay? <laughs> so actually, this is a website for if you want to buy something online, okay? So you have to look at the uh, page at uh, the uh, uh, page first, and then uh, uh, you you press uh, uh, add to chart and then check out. So here, instead of typing something, and then we can type something here, for example, ID. Uh, let's say seven five one. We are sending it, and then this is what we get. Okay, so product, this is the product. Okay, product detail, Q, S, F, P, blah, blah, blah. And then we use get. Okay, so if we use get and then those uh, 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 data here will be sent through the URL itself. Okay, so we can do it the same thing. Uh, ID equals to 751. Okay, let's wait. And then uh, we got the same same page okay so what happened if we change it to post okay let's do it oh, okay so let's change this one okay save it id value seven five one so now, so previously we used get, okay? So now we use post. Okay, let's see. Oh, please mute your microphone. If you want to say something, and then uh, it's fine, okay. Yeah, so a post with post, yes, it, it can receive post. If I change it to 755, and then Here it is. Oh, sorry. Uh, I have to send it through body. Uh, yeah, yeah. So post needs to be sent on body. Oh, this is for headers and this is, yeah, form data. So uh, usually when you have body, uh, you have post, you have a uh, form data here. For example, ID and then a seven five one. Okay, let's check. So uh, with the post, uh, the URL will be like a bare, uh, bare URL like this. So without uh, adding something like ID or something. Okay. So post so previously. So previously it was not post. Okay, it was still get. Okay. So post. If you do post, it will be look like this. Okay. And then let's see what happened. And then it says, yes, uh, detail products. Yes, so it means that it supports the uh, post request. Uh, seven, five, seven. And then, yeah, so this is the, this is the uh, product, okay. Seven, five, seven, let's see. Uh, do we have the same product? Yes. Okay, guys, so at least you get an idea about how API works, okay? So uh, in API, we have two sites. We have a client and we have a server, okay? Okay, let's continue with the slides. So this is how it looks like. Uh, yeah, with the HTTP method request. So we either you can use get, post, put, patch, delete, or whatever. And then, uh, as I said, uh, we have a status code. 
So previously, this is the method. Okay, so this is on the request. Okay, on the request side. So request is this. Okay, so this is for request. Okay. What about response? Yes, on the next slide. So this is on the response. So either you can use 100 to 199. Okay, here it is. So, but uh, the things that we are looking for is 200. Yeah, 200 means what? Is okay. Okay, what about 300? That's uh, for redirection, okay. Uh, what about 400? This is the, the thing that we don't like, okay. So 400 is bad things, but from the uh, client side, usually. So it can be a bad request, unauthorized, forbidden, not found, conflict, whatever. And then uh, 500, if you see error 500, if you, if you have PHP, and then you can see, oh, okay, 500 means internal a server error. Uh, you have a bug on your... Uh, your code is very buggy, so you need to troubleshoot that. Uh, are either 503 service unavailable? This is uh, happening when you have, uh, for example, a proxy. Uh, then on the proxy, you have an upstream server, and then that upstream server is not available. Or, uh, for example, uh, you want to restart it at the moment, so at the time when the request comes, and then it will get uh, service unavailable or can be a gateway timeout or bad gateway or, or uh, things like that, okay? Or when the PHP is down, okay? So usually uh, when we when we implement, when we deploy a Apache server, uh, we have a web server and then uh, we have a PHP server, which are uh, uh, running independently, okay? So, so previously, uh, PHP and Apache is bundled into one single software. So if Apache down, and then of course PHP is down. But with the uh, new technology, we can separate them uh, in order to save uh, some resources. Okay, because because PHP requires uh, higher resources. Okay, <laughs> so with that one, we can still run the Apache, but uh, for the PHP, sometimes not available. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, static and dynamic websites. So as I said, a static website consists of three things. Okay. So HTML, CSS, JavaScript, these are three things that, uh, uh, that you need to know if you want to be a web developer. Okay. But dynamic website, you have, you have a, a programming language here and then usually you are using database okay so this php okay will generate the code okay so the, the, the purpose for php for generating the html code after it's been generated do you see the php no it's not okay oh yeah i need to clean this up yeah so this is a uh, um, how the server is, is 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 executed okay so this is your web client <clears throat> you're sending requests handled by apache <clears throat> sorry so the web server is apache okay and then apache is in, is apache enough yes uh, if if you just provide static data store static file images whatever and then it's enough, okay, with Apache. But if you want, if you are using WordPress, WordPress is PHP, so you need to have an application server, which is the PHP, okay. So PHP is the application server. So the request sent to the uh, PHP, okay, and then check, okay, do I need to get the data from the database? Yes, okay, go here, and then get the data. And then, uh, yeah, sometimes you have a web container and so on and so forth, or other services like uh, and this is the application server PHP. And then you call here is Python. Python, okay. Sorry, it's not that good. My handwriting. 
<laughs> okay, so that's that's the request to the PHP. PHP checking the database. Okay, database here's the data, and then here's the uh, self the phone from the PHP, and then the PHP generated the code, and then the Apache sent to the uh, client. So actually, that's what happened when you access a PHP a hosting a website. Okay, now let's talk about the API. Yeah, so application programming interface actually is a standardized interface for communication between two parties. Okay, uh, actually this is a general term. Okay, not only for, not, not only particular for web communication, but uh, this is for general, okay. So this is standardized interface for communication, okay? Application programming interface. So you can see seven OC layer from the API perspective, they are one. You have a radius, a radius has a protocol. I think it's an API as well. Telecommunication use a lot with the API, okay? So for example, uh, a central from Huawei can be able to talk to the uh, Siemens or Ericsson, okay? or uh, a ZTE or whatever, okay? So yeah, those are API. And then uh, if you have like uh, Apache, uh, as I said, uh, you, you have XM, right? XMPP, okay? And there you have Apache, you have uh, PHP, okay, you have MySQL. So those are, those are connecting to each other using API, okay? API, why? Yeah, because uh, they can be able to connect to each other with the API. API is used to connect uh, uh, services or software. Without API, they cannot, make any communications. Okay, so API is just general term for communication between two software, even in the same computer, like XM here, it's the same computer, right? So if there is no API and then uh, uh, we, we will be like uh, in the DOS operating system. Uh, if you are living in 19, if you are using computers in 1990s or 80s, uh, you will know this DOS, this operating system, right? <laughs> so if DOS is just single software, you cannot, so with the current, uh, current operating system, you can hear MP3 uh, while doing your, your, your browsing, right? Uh, you, you can do multiple tasking, yeah, multitasking multitasking here. Yeah. DOS is not like that, okay? So if you want to play game, just game. If you want to work, then work. <laughs> so, so it's not, not, not multitask. Okay. Yeah, so with the API, we can do multitask. Uh, with the dev, web development and then also uh, mobile development, the API that is, is very famous is REST API, represents rep Sorry, Represent, representational state transfer. Uh, to be honest, I'm, I'm not good at the uh, acronym, okay? <laughs> so, sometimes I often uh, make uh, mistakes between, for example, SMTP and SMMP and uh, oh, yeah, things like that. <laughs> okay, so uh, API that we are talking about is the REST API, uh, it's very famous. And then uh, this API is, is using through HTTP method. So they, they don't invent a new protocol, so they just use the current one. So with the API, uh, they will use, they will use this thing, okay? So this is for API, okay. Yeah, so uh, with the API here, okay, we can we can split our 
our application into two parts. Okay, either it's front end or back end. So front end is responsible for handling user interface. So uh, usually a front end programmer is 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 kind of a, a art. Uh, so they are handling. Okay, uh, this should be yellow. This should be green, and the, the button should be put in here, uh, like a user interface. Okay. Uh, user experience, okay, so that's the responsible for front end, okay. So, uh, there will be a form here, okay, and then you send to the form, okay, blah, 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 and then uh, it will forward the request, okay, to the back end. Uh, usually, it can be via API, okay, so this is client, okay, and then uh, this is the form, okay. So for example, username and login, okay? And then send it to uh, uh, other website. Okay, for, uh, this is uh, front end. So this is back end, okay? Uh, yeah, so we can we can split the two, okay? A front end, back end, and back end is the API provider. So uh, when we provide API, usually, uh, what we mentioned is the backend. So backend here is the database. Okay, you have a database here connected to backend. And then uh, the purpose for backend is to receive requests and then reply with the data, usually with JSON format. Okay, so it's nothing to do with the uh, handling user equipment and then so on and so forth, no other thing. Okay, so for example, we have Ajax requests, we have application API, and so on and so forth. Okay, so, so as you can see, uh, we can send data from a, a software like a Postman here. Okay, so yeah, um, yeah, with the API that has been exposed to the to the internet, uh, there will be a security problem, okay? So, yeah, in order to improve security for the API, so for example, you can uh, say uh, IP address whitelist, okay? So that you can uh, filter, so this is, uh, up, this been applied, this will be applied on the server side, okay? So there will be a list of uh, IP address where you are allowed them to query your API. Or you can use a tokenize. Uh, this is uh, like uh, a banking is used because they cannot. You cannot control uh, IP address, uh, any IP address that 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 request to you, right? Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. So let let's us let us. Uh, uh, check this website, okay? So, for example, uh, if you want to find a product, let's say Microtik, okay, and then here's the results, okay? So actually here, there will be a form, okay? So let's check it. Oh, sorry, I, I have to share my whole screen. Sorry for that. Okay, let, let me repeat again. Okay, so back back to the this website. So I, I like to use this website because, uh, yeah, it's it is simple. And then, uh, yeah, the thing is, I can show you uh, the. Uh, it's still showing you the uh, what is it, the the old old uh, old traditional uh, get request. Okay, so they are clearly seeing that ID equals to something. Right, so when you check here, uh, you can check the their source code. Okay, and then you can see a form. Or maybe I can uh, do a sim uh, uh, an inspect element for that. Again, guys. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. This is not for a beginner. Okay. Or so at least you must. You must have a, 
um, what is it, an experience for developing this. Oh, okay, so as you can see, it's here. Uh, okay, there, there is a, there's a form, right? And, oh, okay. So as you can see, uh, can you see the, the content? Yeah, here it is. Yeah. So here it is, okay. So this is the form, okay. So form means it's an element of a website where you can, you can send the data. Uh, for example, uh, login, login page, okay, or a search page like this. Okay, this is for searching. Uh, the HTML tag for it is the form, okay. So this form, if you put, will be look like that. And then here's the button, okay. See, this is the button, right? The button is this. Here's the class, role is form. And then usually at the form, you have an action. Okay, so the action is this. Okay, and then here's the method you are using, post. Okay, so that's how you, that's how you send the data. Well, we can, we can send them as well. Okay, so product. Yeah, see, so uh, www.product.php is like this, okay? And then you're using post for uh, sending the data to that. So that's why it can explain why we can uh, update the data using the uh, post request here. Okay, so this is the product. Okay, yeah, index product, okay. I can change them here. Okay, and then, oh, yeah. Save, oh, so this is, this is different, okay. So this is different. I think we can, uh, yeah, so uh, this is for searching, okay? So index product can receive, yeah, so, uh, yeah, can receive a data from here, okay? So can receive data from here, then we can see, um, input type text, uh, and then we can uh, get here katachari. Okay, so that is the variable names we can use to search a product. So katachari equals to something, for example, uh, omnitic. Okay, and then save, send the request, and then this is what we get. Okay. Right. <clears throat> okay, so if I type Omni tick, yeah, so this is the result. Okay, the keyword is Omni tick. Yeah, they don't use they don't use CSRF here. Uh, yeah, but it's okay. Okay, so yeah, uh, so that you can query directly from here. Index product, uh, wait a minute. Oh, sorry, so here it is. Uh, yeah, that's why um, the result is not correct. So I'm using different URL. Okay, so here it is, save, and then send. And then, 
let's see that. Ah, see, keyword only tick, okay? And then here's the results. Okay, guys, I think that's all. Um, yeah, so this is just example of uh, API, how API looks like. Uh, we don't we don't talk about the, you know, like uh, um, a sophisticated API, okay? Uh, but you get an idea about how API works. Okay? And then uh, this is one example. I think uh, this is um, uh, this example is very good where you can implement uh, API. So it's up to you. Okay, so you as a programmer, uh, what you will do is create a product.php like this. Okay, and then <clears throat> uh, at your backend, uh, you should be able to. Uh, set up like uh, uh, you can you can uh, you can generate um, or not generate you can you can do a programming on your backend to receive what kind of what kind of uh, variables uh, you are receiving uh, from from clients like this. All right. Okay, guys. Uh, I think uh, that's all. Uh, if you are interested and then we have a schedule for training okay so um what we are focusing on here is the the way you do uh, a training is is a training for fundamentals okay uh, most likely people are just for example people are just using laravel 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 but uh, they just the first time it was their first time <laughs> first time uh, learning the web programming okay they want to learn laravel they want to be expert in laravel but it is, that is the first time they are learning the web programming no so you need to understand i mean you have to be patient okay you need to understand the html first css javascript and then the php and then the database because php is, has ability to connect to the database, right? And so on and so forth, guys. So please do not just jump to the <laughs> to the Laravel. Besides, Laravel requires OOP, man, object-oriented programming, which is uh, out of this uh, topic that we are talking today. Okay, end of slide. Uh, thank you very much for your attention. Um, Admin already share your the uh, feedback. Okay, if you have any questions, uh, you can say something here. Otherwise, as usual, uh, it's uh, photo time. Okay, no more questions. No more questions. Hello. No more questions, guys. <laughs> I think they'll understand everything. One in. <laughs> Oh, okay. I think oh, one question. Okay, so what's your questions? No, I mean, I want to uh, more detail about the training, info the training. Oh, yeah, that one you can ask uh, admin. Uh, admin, uh, you can share the, uh, what is it, uh, the WhatsApp number for admin. Uh, admin will reply to you. So it depends. So we provide training and then, yeah, most likely, Look, guys, uh, we, we provide training, okay? Oh, ini jadi curhat, ya. Sorry. <laughs> uh, we provide training, uh, Cisco programming, uh, and then, what is it? I forget the other one. Ah, system admin, sorry. <laughs> yeah, a lot of things in my head, sorry. Uh, a problem with, with student is they don't have a, a basic, uh, a proper basic a fundamentals for, for the trainings. For example, there is a newbie who uh, wants to get MTCNA uh, 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 a certification, but and this is their first time uh, learning the networking. They don't know what is IP address, and they don't know how what what the hell is uh, subnetting, what, what the hell is uh, I, uh, uh, TCP and UDP. What are the differences between them? They don't know. Um, a protocol analyzers like uh, K15 or Wireshark. 
but they, they want to pass the certification and then it, it, it makes us headache. So, so for some, some uh, uh, trainings like that, we, we offer uh, two options. Uh, first is the, if you already have the basics and then if you don't have the basics and then the training will be longer. You know, but the thing is, uh, people don't want to spend more money, right? They want to spend, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, as 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 fast as possible. Okay, uh, yeah, and then that happens. Uh, but uh, in our in our training, uh, make sure that you have a, a best a, a prerequisite knowledge before you take the um, a training. Okay. Right, so I think it's uh, it's time for for photo session. Okay, so please turn on your please turning on your uh, uh, camera, please. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, what about others? Oh, others already left. Wow. Okay, so that's fine. Okay, I'll take a picture. One, two, three. Yes. One, two, three. Yeah, okay. Another pictures. Yeah, good. Oh, okay. Uh, it's just very little a daughter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. guys, thank you very much. Uh, I think we can close this uh, webinar. So I hope you enjoy the session tonight and uh, see you later uh, mm -hmm. next week thank you and goodbye thank you bye